In 1958, Ford introduced the world to an unprecedented concept, the Ford Nucleon, a car powered by a small nuclear reactor. This vision captured the post-war American fixation on convenience, as it promised a driving range of over 5,000 miles between fuel stops. However, like many mid-century nuclear fantasies, the Nucleon remained a concept due to enduring engineering challenges. The Nucleon was imagined with extraordinary dimensions, stretching 200 inches long and 77 inches wide, almost mirroring the dimensions of a Ford Maverick pickup, but with a slightly wider body. Its most striking feature was its incredibly short wheelbase of just 69 inches, around the same space as a Mini Cooper, designed to support the weight of the onboard reactor, which was positioned at the rear, pushing the cabin forward. Ford's design for the Nucleon included a power capsule, or a small nuclear reactor with an easily serviced radioactive core. This core would generate power for electronic torque converters, essentially making it a series hybrid vehicle. In 1958, the idea of shrinking nuclear technology to fit into a car seemed plausible to many Americans, especially as some homes began to receive nuclear-generated electricity. However, the Nucleon concept vanished after 1958 as the technology for miniaturizing nuclear reactors for automotive use was not yet feasible. According to Dr. L. Dale Thomas from the University of Alabama in Huntsville, while a small reactor could fit in a car and produce sufficient energy, the challenge lay in converting this thermal energy to mechanical energy efficiently. Nuclear reactors generate heat used to boil water, produce steam, and then drive a turbine for electricity generation. This multi-step process introduces inefficiencies, as energy conversions are always lossy. Moreover, the disposal of waste heat presents another challenge. In internal combustion engines, waste heat is expelled through exhaust gases and radiators. In contrast, a nuclear reactor's working fluid is recycled, necessitating effective radiators to dump excess heat, adding to the complexity of using a nuclear reactor in a vehicle. The Ford Nucleon, a product of its time, symbolized the atomic age's optimism and the era's naivety regarding the future of nuclear power. Despite the promising start with nuclear-powered ships like the USS Nautilus and NS Savannah, the realization of nuclear-powered cars faced insurmountable challenges, including safety concerns, the complexity of miniaturizing reactors, and efficient waste heat management. Thus, while the concept of the Ford Nucleon was a fascinating glimpse into a future that never materialized, it remains an iconic representation of mid-20th century innovation and imagination.